Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Horror Debate. I'm Michael Manny and with me, Rowdy Jeff. Oh boy, do we have a winner this week, Mike. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh, we're it. going deep, deep, we, deep. We... <laughs> <laughs> That'll all make I'm, sense by the end of the debate. I'm it'll, not... Uh, I'm it'll not... all make sense by the end of the debate. We uh, are doing the new remake of I Spit on your grave unrated. The unrated edition yeah because uh, that's even part of the official title i spit on your grave uh, unrated. unrated yeah uh-huh. well how are you gonna rate that the mpaa to me would look at this and go yeah right yeah you're kidding you know are you are you playing you know so <laughs> <laughs> come on now i mean this is basically like the ho- last house on the left right yeah. Which I live in, right? Because I am the, like the last house on the left, right? I mean, I'm on my cul-de-sac. Anyway, on my cul-de-sac. So, yeah. The house in front of the cemetery. <laughs> yes, I live right next to a cemetery. You know what? There's a cool movie called The the House by the Cemetery. Oh, it's probably filmed in here somewhere, dude. I got some weird stuff that happens in here sometimes. It's I'm a, not kidding. It's a crazy Italian movie. I love it. Oh, see. I think it's Lamberto Bava or Mario or one of the, I can't remember now. Luigi or... Yeah, yeah, Bowser. Or, <laughs> no. You know, I mean, <laughs> it's a crazy Italian movie. So. Okay, okay. So I spit on your on grave. On your grave. The unrated. Unrated. So you got basically the the setup. Well, also this is a remake of the yeah, original absolutely. I spit on your grave, which I have not seen yet. Which is also the a you know I mean chaos. We did chaos, which is basically the same movie. You gonna bring that over. movie up again, Mike? You gonna really bring up chaos? You know how long I can talk on that movie. Yes, I, can, I, do. I can speak on that movie for longer than what the movie runs. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that was a disturbing piece of work <laughs> in many ways. I had to get up and take a shower after I watched that movie, dude. And, and you didn't after this movie? No, no, this movie. No, this movie was fun. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Okay. I am a sucker for a revenge movie. I thought you were going to say I was a sick mo- <laughs> No. I'm a sucker for a revenge movie, a good, well-built revenge movie. Okay. And this, by the time you get to the part where the revenge is going to go down, you're like just angry and ready for this thing to get kick in. When she starts taking hers, man, literally taking hers, mm-hmm. I mean, wow, man. I was... I wasn't uh, feeling dirty. I was feeling like getting up and doing the wave. Yeah. I was having a great time with mm-hmm. this thing, man. This was done really well. Yeah. The actress was very, very believable. Not to mention she was pretty hot. Yeah. So, you know <laughs> what I mean? I mean, she was. So, okay. uh, so it's kind of like, you know, I, 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 I love a revenge film. I mean, they, they, the things they did to her again, you know, if you watch Last House on the Left, you kind of got the idea of what they did to or her. Or Chaos. Or Chaos, <laughs> which I don't recommend. Or the original. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the original I Spit on Your Grave was one of the first movies that I saw on this wonderful new machine back in the late 70s called a Betamax. Oh, you were one of those. One of my friends had this Betamax, and there was a video store that opened up, and, and we had to leave like a $100 deposit. What's a video store? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a place where you went and rented these little Betamax yeah, tapes. Yeah, yeah. And you had to be a member. Do you remember you how much those things cost? Yeah, they were like $89 yeah. when they came out. Yeah. Unbelievable, yeah, I remember when Rambo 3 came out, people, I was working at the one of the warehouse record stores. Remember a record store, folks? Oh, that was the W-H-E-R-E house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Not W-H-O-R-E <laughs> house. <laughs> Didn't work at one the of those. The little one in Texas? Yeah, I visited yeah, a few, no. but no. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, um, <laughs> yeah, and I remember the, normally movies were like $79, $89, but when Rambo 3 came out, it was yeah. 109 bucks. Yep. People went nuts. Was it Rambo 3? Yeah. Wow. Uh, Rambo 3, when it came out, it was 109 I think bucks that was the budget to film the, to film the movie, yeah. man. I, I, you know, so wow. All you people who watch them on, on Netflix for free now for 8 bucks a month, yeah. you're spoiled. Yeah. We had to pay $30 a month month membership sure. fee to have the privilege sure. of renting a but movie. But remember how cool it was to walk into those old video stores, especially like the real small, not like the, the mom and pops. Yeah, like the, the little mom and, mom and pops. Remember how cool it was? Because you would I find worked. stuff in there you couldn't get in like that, the big chain. That's how I found Highlander. Yeah. I worked at one of these small mom and pop stores that was like 30 feet long and 10 feet wide down in L.A. when yeah. I was going to college. Yeah. I worked there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three days. I was the only one there and the occasional person would walk in. That was cool. So I'd be bored most of the time, so I just go through and gee, I've never heard of this movie. Pop, Pop it, it in. in, yeah. I found yeah. a lot of good movies that way. A yeah. lot of bad movies that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, plot us, Mike. Tell us what's happening, and I spit on your grave unrated. Well, typically, yes, come on. If you're listening to this, you probably know. Just tell us anyway. Okay, a uh, girl from the city. <laughs> she's writing a book. Wants to be alone for a while. Get yep. away from it all. Rents a cabin out in the middle of nowhere. 
from this uh, dude who there was a TV show back in the seventies called um, uh, uh, Best of the West but with Joel Frog. Higgins. Frog. 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 He's yeah. all old now, but yeah, the, uh, <laughs> Frog. Best, best of the West. That's right, I Joel the Higgins. Theme. I can sing it right now, dude. Yeah. How I remember Joel Higgins' his name, I don't yeah, know. Cause yeah. Anyway, so he the only Higgins I know is with Magnum. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> so she rents this movie. She rents this. We're talking about renting movies. She, yeah. <laughs> she rents this cabin from Frog, and uh, so then she goes out in the middle of nowhere. Of course, she has to ask for directions while yeah. she's filling up with gas, and of course, all the guys are there going, "Oh yeah," and playing with their dipsticks. Oh you know, st- yeah. Stroking it up and down, going, "Oh yeah, baby, it's down there and to the left." She's and, a yeah, city girl. Yeah, she, oh yeah. And yeah. So, so of course, one of them gets a video camera and spies on her, and they of course get all drunk and say, "Let's go pay her a visit." Right. So they pay her a visit, and uh, so eventually. I don't want to spoil the, the surprise, because actually well, there was one surprise yeah. that kind of threw me. I was like, oh, that's new. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, but anyway. Well, but anyway, so she gets... She, you know what happens? She's out there. She's riding, and these guys, well, they show up, right? Yeah, and, and so you and guess what happens. And all breaks loose. You guess what happens. And so, so anyway, revenge she, happens. She, she escapes, and she plots her revenge. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, she and didn't just plot it. <laughs> she, she carries it, it out. She travels it and carries it out, baby. It was beautiful. Yeah. I mean, you know... Imagination in, in the way that some of these revenge things were, were, you know, the imagination of figuring out how you're going to get revenge yeah. on some of these guys, I thought was pretty good. You know, revenge films uh, c- can only go so far because you know what's going to happen. It's just how is it going to happen? Like the very first Bronson Death Wish movie. Yeah, I remember everyone that. went nuts. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God, that was great. Yeah. The second one, they upped the violence, moved the location to L.A. and upped the violence. Mm-hmm. Second one was cool, but by the time they did Death Wish four and five and six, you're yeah. going. Come on, yeah. enough. You shoot them, they fall. End of yeah. movie. Come on. But this was invented. This was a little more. Uh, y- you weren't just uh, these no, folks no, no, no. deserve wait, 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 wait. number one. But you have to have you have to have it believable that a single woman who has a young woman who had was, had arms the size you know like a little like a pole you know these are things that she could actually carry out. Well, yeah, she couldn't just walk up and give him a left hook. Yeah, you know? right. Bam, no. I mean, these are things that right. she plotted and figured out and uh-huh. did, and they were gross. They were graphic. These are some of the things you think about, but you can't figure out how would I carry them out. Yeah. She found a way to carry I'm them out, I'm telling you, folks. when she had dude with the eyelids set up, and oh, I that, just knew yeah. that was coming, baby. Yeah. This, this almost borders on, on those torture movies from yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. Because she drags them out. I mean, she makes you you almost feel sorry for these guys, but then the ration part of your brain says, no, no, <laughs> no. no. But still, at the end of the movie, you I still felt really you're cr- just creepy. you're just a little shocked. Yeah. At the end of the movie, I was a little shocked going, wow, I can't believe she did that. And yeah. the last wow. kill was just off the chain, dude. I <laughs> loved it. I loved it. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So, so, OK, in the original movie, like one of the kills was one of the guys was just swimming in the lake yeah. and she's in a power boat with one motor. She just walks up and she has an axe yeah. and she just thought in his head and keeps on she going. She asked him a question. Yeah. Okay, you, know, you know, I mean, in the movie, she got a revenge. But here are these you a question, Mike. You ask me all the time. OK, <laughs> so. In this movie, they're not so quick and easy and simple yeah. like in the Death Wish 4 or no, 5. Just not shot at all. to the head, he falls, we move That's him what over. I thought was beautiful. These, they drag him out and. and well, to they, be fair, uh, to be yeah. fair, they dragged out the what they did to and her. And her, too. Yeah. Oh, no, well, in the first movie, they did, too. Yeah. I mean, she escapes and they find her. She escapes, they find her. She well, goes not home, just they the find her. She and escapes. all that, but I'm talking yeah. about You're right. the actual yeah, yeah, acts yeah. of what right, they did. Right, yeah. But I'm just saying it's consistent. But but at least in the revenge portion of this movie, they focused more on right, and which you know, like I said, and if they you do a revenge it. film right, you got me from minute one. If you yeah. do it right, you got me. Okay, yeah. and I was into this thing. I mean, I was cheering every time these guys got got something that was coming to them. You know, I mean, and that's what this you film's know. about. And to me, this was done very, very right. Yeah. The only thing is, I was thinking when I was watching this movie, just going to the, you know, the assistant cameraman and the prop master. I'm going, do you guys tell your parents I'm proud of this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. proud I was but, on this movie. But let me, let me go know, back. Yeah, it was a well-made say, movie. Let but, me go back but, and talk to you about the acting of the young lady that was in this film because uh-huh. I thought she was very believable. 
<clears throat> when she when they allowed her to walk away from the situation and, and she the, had those twitches and the twitches and the way she walked her nervous she was having a nervous breakdown she was in basically. shock yes and it, it was real it felt real it mm-hmm. did not feel like she was overdoing it or kind of understating it it was perfect and I, I that grabbed me immediately i've only watched this film once and I, that is that's the scene when I think about this film, you would think it would be like the last kill or something that I would think about. It's not. It's the way she portrayed the hurt and the pain and all that. Well, and she the was, shut down. She yes. shut down. Yes, when she was walking away from the situation. That was art. So so to me... So to film, you, this film is art. It is. It, it, well, that part of it was art. Her performance was art. She did a really good I'm job. Just giving you a hard time. So, <laughs> oh, like they gave her. Oh no, no. Oh, let me hear you. That, okay. The final ten minutes of this movie is pure art. It's pure art. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what? I, I thought as as a standalone film, very effective all the way through. Never bored. Never out of the story. Never. You know, it had enough jumps. Had enough little little kind of precursor scares, uh, like every horror movie does these days. But um, it still felt rather. Fresh, believe it or not, even though it was kind of the same story that we've seen, you know, previously, um, they did this right. The director was really good. The acting was really good. the The bad guys were so bad. Yeah, the bad guys were bad. That so was, that you just, you know, you there was no sympathy as far as I was concerned. So I'm four star in this, Mike. Wow. I'm giving it four. I, I enjoyed it, man. I sat there. I sat there. I'm like, and I was like, I had a smile on my face from ear to ear, dude. I was just loving it. Next, next time you watch this movie, just fast forward to, to the middle part of the movie yeah. and watch watch the last half again. Yeah, the man. The first I, half, the first, the, well, the middle of the first, the middle of the movie is kind of brutal. Oh, yeah. It's very brutal. I mean, yeah, this just, is a graphic film, and, and people with wives and girlfriends might want to tread carefully as far as putting yeah, this, this on. This is not the ideal date movie. No. No. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, no. man, oh, man, yeah, it, it, it no. sure is effective for what it is. Yeah, it's effective. I'll give it three stars. You got it. It's well made, but in the acting, the, the, the people acting, the, just... The sheriff, dude. The sheriff. The sheriff was rough, boy. Yeah. I, you know, he... You know, he was a bad guy. You hated him, but I appreciated his work. I appreciated his right. acting, you know? Yeah. I mean, so. then you watch the extra features, and he's sitting there talking out of character, and you're like, that's not the same guy. He, uh, you know, it's, he's totally different. That, that's an actor cool. for you, man. All right. So, uh, yeah. Michael Man. So, Rowdy Jeff says this is a party movie. Party movie, man. All Get right. your popcorn ready. All right. I'm Michael Manny. He's Rowdy Jeff. <laughs> we'll talk to you next week at the Horror Debate.